In the first reading from Mass today, we hear St. Stephen, you know, cry out, you know, Lord, do not hold this sin against him, as he was being stoned to death. You know, that imagery, that thought, you know, pulled into my mind that scriptural passage from Matthew's Gospel, the fifth chapter, uh, verses 23 and 24. Yeah, I just Googled that a couple seconds ago. But it's that passage where the Lord talks about if you have any argument against your brother to leave your gift at the altar and go and settle your argument before you come back to offer that gift at the altar of the Lord. And what's really been sitting with me recently is this whole idea. Here we are not having the opportunity to approach the altar of the Lord in the celebration of the holy sacrifice of the mass. And so what should we be doing? And of course, people will talk about making spiritual communions or you know, perfect acts of contritions. But perhaps what we need to do is really reflect deeply upon the way St. Stephen was able to you know, step into you know, the shoes of Christ. And as Christ prayed for forgiveness of those who were executing him, St. Stephen was able to do the same, to pray that this sin not be held against those who are executing him. For you and for me, perhaps, we really need to reflect deeply upon those grudges, those arguments, those things of division that we hold with our brothers in Christ, our brothers and sisters, and to really work on this time to settle those arguments at least within our hearts, so that when we do have an opportunity to come back and present our gift to the Lord at the altar, to approach the altar and to receive the Lord once more in Holy Communion, we can do so with true love in our hearts, with true forgiveness, having settled the score and being like Stephen, who's like Christ, and to be able to pray that the Lord not hold sins against those people who have harmed us, but rather he will bring unto them the same mercy that we so desperately seek day in and day out from the Lord himself. Now is a great time, a time to reflect upon the depths of our heart, to see what grudges are still there, and to use this time, this time in the desert, to be able to purify ourselves of those grudges of those sins.